Hi, Sunny family. I am so excited to finally be going live with you, my Sunny community. So you know me as your coach, Sam Candler, but what you may not know about me is that I am a certified personal trainer and running coach with over 10 years of professional experience working with athletes of all different levels, from children all the way up to 85 plus years old, from professional race car drivers to stay at home moms, to people who just wanna feel and move a little bit better. So I love fitness. I love how fitness fits into a lifestyle. I love how it makes me feel. And I love sharing that with you, with my community. But one of the things that I think is so great about having fitness as part of a lifestyle is when you show up to work out, you are challenging yourself, not just physically, but also mentally and emotionally. And with physical, mental, and emotional challenges, in the gym, it kind of sounds a lot like life, right? So getting stronger in the gym can help us get stronger for our entire lives. And plus, we can feel and look good while we do it. So now that you know a little bit about me, I'm gonna take a few of your questions to help you understand a little bit more about my approach to fitness. So let's get started here. The first question is, is running easier on a treadmill than it is outside? And that's a great question, and there's kind of two parts to an answer here. In some ways, running on a treadmill can be a little bit easier because the treadmill belt is moving, so like the ground is moving underneath you. When you're outside, you actually have to work to push the ground behind you, so it's a little bit different muscularly. Plus, when you're outside, you may come across some unexpected hills, which are going to, of course, challenge you more than flat road. However, when we run on a treadmill, often we get kind of fixated on the speed and that can push us to go just a little bit harder, maybe making our workout that much more challenging. So I really like to use the treadmill for a lengthy or for a short high intensity workouts. So my sprint workouts are awesome on a treadmill. And if I'm going out for a longer, slower run, then I'll probably go outside. All right, question number two, do I need to wear different shoes on the treadmill? The answer is no. Any shoe that's okay to run outside in, it's okay to run on the treadmill too. Just make sure you have good tread and a decent amount of cushioning. And I always recommend heading to a local running store to make sure that the shoe not only fits you well, but also helps to manage your stride. Whether you need stability or cushion or even a little launch, they can help you find the right one. Then let's see, how long can I run on an incline? Whoa. Uh, that's a great question. There are people who run entire mountains straight up. You could run on an incline for a very long time, but there are a couple things to consider. One is the steepness of the incline, and the other is the effort at which you're putting into it. So the more steep the incline, the slower you'll need to go. I like to do hill sprints, but no more than a 10% grade and really no more than 30 seconds at a time. But if I'm on a long, slow climb, I'll jog or maybe even slow down to a walk so that my heart rate doesn't get too high. So it's always a little bit of a balance, but if you wanted to go up an entire mountain, go for it, my friends. All right, with that, we are going to hop on the treadmill for a pretty cool workout here. So if you have a treadmill, I want you to join me on that. If you have an elliptical, you're welcome to come along, a bike, even a rower. You could even really be standing in place in your own house jogging and walking along with me. Totally fine, but I'm gonna teach to the treadmill because that is my true love here. So let's hop on. So there are a couple things I love about using equipment for my cardio workouts. And one of them is that I can control the environment. I don't have to worry about cars around me or safety. I don't have to worry about maybe people that are up to no good or even animals crossing my path. I can just focus on my workout. Secondly, as I mentioned before, on a treadmill or on our own cardio equipment, we can control the incline. We can control the speed down to the 0.1 mile an hour. That can all be very useful in our training. So for those reasons, I really like to be on a treadmill and I can understand why if you're an elliptical or a bike person, you choose those options as well. So what we're going to do today is a really fun workout. This is gonna be about 20 minutes, and it's going to be in a would you rather format. So would you rather do one thing? We're gonna add incline or resistance, and would you rather do another? We'll add some speed. 
You'll see exactly how it works, but let's get started now, just at an easy walking pace. We're gonna spend three minutes going just really chill here, and we'll allow our bodies to warm up. I recommend having a towel and having some water with you. And then I recommend using the safety clip because you really never know. Safety is always important. As long as we stay injury free, we can keep showing up to our workouts, which means we keep getting stronger for the rest of our lives. I'm gonna add a little speed to my walk here, but I'm still at a very comfortable casual pace. Now, today's workout is going to be divided into three blocks of three questions each. So each block is really lasting four minutes long and then we'll get a recovery. Now, you can take this any way you want. If you wanna push hard today, you can absolutely do that. And if you wanna take it easy and just have a little fun and get to know me as I get to know you, sounds good. So at a walk, if you are on a treadmill, I want you to take it really slow and we're gonna go into some heel flicks where you're gonna hold on to the front of your treadmill and you're gonna bring one heel to your glute, take a couple steps and same thing other side. So we'll warm up our hamstrings this way. That's it, we'll do one more each. All right, and then we'll drift back a little and we're gonna march one knee up, a couple of steps and the other, this time warming up our hip flexors on the front side of our body. Last one. All right, then we're gonna take our speed back to more of a brisk walk. Now, when we get started, I'm going to do each block of work at a jog to a run, but you could take this at a walk to a power walk. That's an option too. You could do a combination of walking, jogging, and running. It's all up to you. We have just about a minute left in our warm up until we get started. So let's make sure you have everything you need. And then take a moment. I am so excited to be here live with you. And I want you to take a moment to be excited about that too. And then to land right here in your workout. Forget about what's going on around right now. This is me and you. Having 25 seconds, we are gonna start our very first of three blocks. I'm gonna pick a jog at 0% incline. I'll choose what's right for you, but either way, I recommend starting at zero on the incline or low on the resistance. Are we ready? Y'all, we've got five seconds until we go. I'm gonna find a nice, easy effort. Three, two, one, let's go here. This is just my base pace. For each of the three blocks, we're gonna start at an easy, comfortable effort. Then we have an option to add. So that's it. If you're running with me, take a moment to check in on your form. Feet land underneath your body, hopefully on the middle part of your foot. Tailbone's tucked under a little, you can push through your glutes to push you forward. Abs are engaged so that your belly button's kind of pulling back towards your spine. Your rib cage is not flared out, a little bit tucked under. Shoulders down, arms swinging by your side, chin neutral. All right, 10 seconds until our first would you rather. You ready for it? These can get a little silly. Let's see how they go. Question one, would you rather be a movie star or a music star? If you'd rather be a movie star, add incline. If you'd rather be a music star like me, we're adding speed. I'm gonna add about 0.5 to my speed. I think being a movie star would be awesome. But to be a singer, yeah, that's the pinnacle to me. Stand up on stage and just command with your voice and with your tone. Oh, I got to see Garth Brooks in concert recently, and I mean, he's been around for decades. And to see him stand there, no guitar, nothing, not even background singers, and just to 
capture the attention of 60,000 people. It was awesome. All right, question two. If you had to marry a food, would you rather marry cheese or chocolate? Cheese at incline, chocolate at speed. I'm adding incline. I'm gonna add about 2%. Send in the comments what you choose. I think as much as I love chocolate, I think being married to chocolate would be a little monotonous. But cheese, and cheese can be sweet, savory, soft, hard. I think cheese would be a lot more interesting. Let me know what you choose. If you want to marry both, I mean, I don't think there's a rule against how many marriages to food you can have. All right, so I added speed on my first one. I added incline on my second one. Question three, we ready? All right, Sunny. Would you rather spend your entire life being too hot or too cold? Too hot, you add incline. Too cold, you add speed. It's a no-brainer for me. I'm going incline. I would much rather be too hot. What did you choose? I know all of you who chose too cold are gonna tell me something like, but you can dress for the cold. I don't know. I live in Southern California and I wear a parka. There's a point at which it's just too cold to dress for it. I'd rather be too hot and at least, I don't know, feel like I've got an energetic body because I'm all warm rather than feeling cold and like I gotta curl up into a little ball. But all right, team, in three seconds, we take your treadmill to recovery, let's go. That is the end of our first block. So here, as we recover, take your inclines back down to zero. Take your recovery to something that's just gonna allow you to catch your breath. That's it. Maybe time for a little water. And if you haven't already, send me your answers to those. Would you rather be a movie star or a music star? Is it cheese or chocolate for you? Would you rather be too hot, too cold? I wanna to get to know you. All right. We get to walk for another minute. And then we're gonna do that all again, exactly the same format, new questions. So, what you learned in the last round is how the game works and what you can expect from speed and incline increases. So use that now. Did you wanna push harder? Cool, you can either start faster or you can add more speed and more incline as you go. Is that a little too rich for you? Back it down. No, we're here to get to know each other and have a good time. We have 30 seconds until we're back into our base effort. For me, that's a jog. It's 0% on my incline. Very low on your resistance if you're on a bike or elliptical. All right, study crew, do what you need to do because we start our next one in 10 seconds. You and me, ready? Five seconds, I'm gonna to start to build my speed. Block two starts now. So I'm choosing the same base speed, but I'm gonna add a little more each time. So I added 0.2 on my speed. I added 2% on my incline. But I'm gonna go for a little more this time. I know I can do it. Now check in with your form again. That's it. Take a moment. We are here together, moving our bodies, training our bodies, training our minds, having a little fun while we do it. 15 seconds until Q1 of block two. 
be interesting to see what we come up with this time. All right. Question one. Would you rather be Batman or Spider-Man? Batman, you add incline. Spider-Man, you add speed. And I'm adding speed. This was a discussion with our sunny crew here. I think all of them said Batman but me. Batman's always bummed out. You know, he doesn't really have many friends. Kind of hangs out in the dark. Spidey, he's got friends. He swings around on spider webs. They both get to save the day, which is pretty cool, but I think Spider-Man seems to have a slightly happier go of things. But send me, send me a bat, send me a spider. I want to know. Oh, almost at question two, which means we're halfway through this block already. Question two, would you rather not have elbows or not have knees? Elbows is incline, knees is speed. I'm going speed again. You know, I love to run. How do you run without, without being able to bend your legs? Hello, how do you eat? Without bending your arms, I'm starting to rethink this. Uh, I guess I'll just drink a bunch of smoothies. I could probably do that. All right, I'm seeing about it. So I would rather not have elbows, which means I should have added an incline. There you go. Because I didn't even pay attention to my own rules, I've added both. Penalty. All right. Squad. Last question of this block. Would you rather live in the deep ocean? That's at incline. Or outer space? That's at speed. Totally outer space for me. If you watch those documentaries on the deep, dark ocean, scary stuff. And they're always ending with like, we only know about 5% of what's down there. And I know we don't know all about space, but uh, that seems a lot more peaceful. I'm going space. Send me what you got. You sending me a fish or an alien? Be curious. I mean, how cool would it be to float around outer space? You meet other civilizations. I'm all about it. All right, squad, five seconds. Three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Two minute recovery. So I added more with each answer to each question. But I think I added speed on all three. So that meant I started to go pretty fast. Catch your breath. Now, I wanna have one quick, very serious conversation with you, and I promise it'll be quick. What is this? So many, so many people in our community think of athletes as other people. Well, they're an athlete, I'm not. Are you participating in an athletic endeavor? Are you walking, running, cycling, on the elliptical, rowing? That's athletic. You're an athlete. Our self-dialogue is so important. So what we say to ourselves is what we become. You are an athlete. If you're running, even if it's just for a minute today, you're a runner. Welcome. Start talking to yourself that way. Start eating that way. Athletes, they fuel themselves for the next effort. Fuel yourself, really good, positive foods. All right, 20 seconds until our final block. So what's it gonna be? Are we gonna push hard? Is today more of a recovery day? 
Are you just on here to hang out with me live? I get it. I'm just here to hang out with you live. Getting a little sweat in the process. Are we ready? Five seconds till we go. Easy effort. Three, two, one. That's it. One minute at this base pace. This is the last four minutes of work together. Check in with that form. If your shoulders are all up here, drop them down. Arms are gonna hang out by your sides. We're not trying to elbow our neighbors here. We're trying to encourage our bodies to go forward. That's it. Make sure you're on the middle of your tread, not too close to the front, it's pretty tempting to be there. Give yourself a little room. All right, 15 seconds till our first of our remaining three questions. Don't forget to send me your answers, squad. Ready? Question one, would you rather be the strongest person on earth or the fastest person on earth? Strongest, you're adding incline. Fastest, you're adding speed, of course. I'm going fastest, I'm a runner. And I was thinking about this, you could save a lot of people with either skill, okay? You might be able to pull a car off of somebody if you're the strongest person on earth, but if you're the fastest person on earth, you might have been able to get to that person before the car even got to them. Just saying. So I wonder what it would feel like to just cruise, Usain Bolt style. Just even for, even for a moment, what does that feel like? I gotta know. All right, two questions left. Would you rather be a brilliant artist or a brilliant scientist? Artist at incline, that's me. Scientist at speed. I mean, I see the advantages to both. But the first time I ever went to a modern art museum, mind blown. I wanted to be a misunderstood modern artist. Unfortunately, I have a very literal thinking brain. But wow, that art can just inspire a feeling in you. It's kind of like sets your heart on fire. That's what I'm looking for. Although for all my scientists out there, hey, thanks for what, what you do. All right, last one. Would you rather have fur or feathers? Fur, add incline. Speed, add feathers. Oh, I had five points of incline every time, but 10. I'm marching up the hill, but I'd rather have fur. You think of a husky, like so many layers of fur, it keeps them warm, it also keeps them cool. Oh, feathers. This don't really seem like all that effective. Granted, my down comforter is pretty warm. I'll still, I'll go with fur. If nothing else, just be like my pup, Stella. My sunny family, I think you've probably seen her a time or two before. That's it, 10 seconds left and our work is done. We start our cool down in four, three, two, one. Take your speeds down an easy pace. Take your inclines down. Mine's gonna take a while, it came way up. Catch your breath. And then send me your answers if you didn't already. If you were running, you don't wanna send me emojis while you're running, I support you. Send them to me now. Would you rather be the strongest person than the fastest person? Fur or feathers? Hardest? Or scientists, I want to know. And we'll walk another 20 seconds here. And then we're going to stretch together as a team. 
I mean, this 20 minute workout live with you, I've been so excited about it and it went by way too fast for me. But I've loved every minute. All right, treadmills, come to a stop. Clips, come off. That's it, breathe for a moment. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one foot forward and you're gonna kick your hips back. I'm bending my back knee, my front leg is forward and I feel a stretch all the way down my hamstring. That's it, chest stays open, shoulders are back. Oh, that feels good. Other side. That's it. Chest is open. Let those lungs fill with air. That's it. We're gonna take your right ankle, we're gonna cross it over your left, the like kind of bottom part of your thigh, just above your knee. And you're gonna sit your hips back once again. Chest stays open. That's it. Let that hip open up on the right. You can hold on to the front of the treadmill. Whew. We'll do the same thing on your other side. I'm very curious. I know some of you might be thinking I'm a total weirdo for my answers and I'm okay with that. I tried to fit in when I was like in middle school and that wasn't for me. I was just meant to be me and you're meant to be you. Weird answers and all. All right, team. That was pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed that time. Now, I understand we have a few more questions from our community, so I'm gonna hop off the tread and take them now. Thank you for sweating with me here. All right, so I'm still catching my breath. Hopefully you'll bear with me on that. But first question I see up is, says, hey Sam, what's your favorite post-run meal? I love this question because I really love food. Uh, and it varies. Uh, sometimes I'm running straight from my run right to training more clients and then it's gotta be something really quick. But ideally, whatever I choose has some sort of sugar, primarily in the form of fruit, and some sort of protein. So a smoothie tends to be a really great option. It can give you both, it can be delicious, and it can just help replenish your blood sugar as well as replenish your muscles. So I go with a smoothie, but no matter what, make sure you're getting high quality, real foods. I like to stay away from the bars and the processed foods as much as possible. They aren't bad, but when I can, I like to go for my whole food, especially fruits and proteins. Secondly, what do you prefer running outside when it's hot? Oh, or when it's cold? Look, I live in San Diego. We don't get a lot of either. It's just always like a good running day and I'm grateful for that. I love to be warm, I really do. But when you run, when it's too hot and too sunny, it is very easy to get dehydrated and it can get a bit dangerous. So if I truly had to choose, I think I would choose to run when it's a little bit too cold for my liking. Bundle up, bring something all the way up over my nose, cover my hands. And then no doubt as you go, you'll start to warm up. Let's see, do you like to watch TV while on the treadmill? Ooh, good question. And the answer is no. When I work out, it's my time. It's my time for me. It's my time to be in my body, to be in my thoughts, to be with me. So I don't wanna see the news. I don't even need to see what's on Netflix at that time. That's for another time. My workout time is sacred. So no, sometimes I don't even listen to music. I can go out and run for an hour. Just me and my thoughts. And then let's see, last question. Does running build muscle? That is also a great question. And the answer is yes, but keep in mind, it's all relative. You will likely build more muscle strength training, depending on what your resistance training program is, but running does absolutely build muscle. Think about all those muscles that contract to power you forward. Calves, hamstrings, glutes. We've got some hip flexor working for you, core, even in your upper body as you drive your arm back to propel your body forward. So running absolutely builds muscle and any impact activity 
helps to build bone as well. So it's incredibly great in both departments, but if building muscle is your number one priority, you've got to add some resistance training too. All right, fam, I think that is it for our community questions. Um, one last thing, don't know if you know yet, but the Sunny Fit app is finally live. I'm so excited about it and I have been using it all the time for my own fitness purposes. I love that I can train inside or outside. I can work out with equipment or without and it's always got something that's right for me that day. In fact, recently I was in a hotel and I was able to queue up a couple of workouts to keep me going while I was on the road. So that was pretty awesome. Finally though, I think the very best part of the app, it's the trainers. Hey, if I want a lot of high energy and a couple good dad jokes, I'm going with James. Hey, if I want, if I want to look at, you know, some like intensity, right? Annalisa, she's got it. If I want to dance it out, Dominique. Now there is something for everyone on the app. Please download it today and get going and see how Sunny is fit for everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait to see you again. I cannot wait to do another live workout with you. Bye-bye.